we are forging on ahead with my happy birthday weekend unboxing marathon filming. It's actually Monday after the weekend of my birthday and I've taken today off to catch up on life things that I didn't do over the weekend since it was my birthday. So one of those things is going to be filming a bunch of unboxings because I had a whole bunch come in this last week of January and I need to catch up because I'm running out of time and the February boxes are going to start rolling in. So I'm just going to be filming a whole bunch back to back and posting them over the next week or two. So if you're interested in seeing what else I've unboxed during this time period, definitely look for the bricked little sweater and that'll tell you when I filmed them at around the same time. One of them was the BAM box, which we just did. And now we're going to take a look at the Geek Fuel box. So I'm really looking forward to this one because the advertisement indicated that there was going to be a Q-Fig in here. I was hoping to get in on the Harley Quinn one, but I ended up screwing up somehow with how I filled out the offer. And they weren't able to retroactively apply it because... Apparently by the time I realized that there was an issue and I contacted them about it, they had already begun the process of packing my box for shipment. So, crossing my fingers, I'm kind of hoping that I ended up with the Harley Quinn anyway. But we'll see. We'll find out momentarily. So... If you are interested in Geek Fuel, I will go ahead and include a link down below so that you can go check out pricing and shipping information and find out whether or not that's something that's available to you and whether or not it's worthwhile to you. Geek Fuel is a box that offers uh, collectibles and geek themed items, a movie, comic related games, uh, that sort of thing. And it usually has a pretty good variety of items from what I've seen. I, I've got little experience with it personally. Um, my very first Geek Fuel box was actually something that I tried out as a result of a Groupon that I came across. And the box that I received was like a mixed box of past items. And I was kind of hit or miss with some of those items. So I didn't really kind of feel like I had a good sense. Of, of what it was like but based off of what I've seen on other videos I've been impressed with it so I decided to go ahead and give it another try especially when I saw the advertisement for the Q-Fig so let's go ahead and crack into this and see what we've got they always arrive with everything covered up so there's surprises and of course now there's things falling out looks like that's just the Geek Fuel magazine the lovely Carrie Fisher. So we'll take a look at that later, but for now I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. First thing that I'm going to pull out is a bonus item. And I'm really happy now that I'm unboxing it because I've seen this in other things and I think it's hilarious. It's a pillowcase. Admiral Akbar. It's a nap. It's a nap. It's a nap. So I've actually seen that in other videos and thought, oh man, I really want one of those. So I'm pretty happy that I got that. And after I'm done filming, I need to actually go do homework. And now I'm kind of bummed because I'd much rather lay down and, and take a nap with Admiral Akbar. So anyway, so that's item number one. And apparently it was a bonus item. So I'm happy about that. That's kind of cool. Next up, we have a pin. Uh, and it's... Uh, Princess Leia. Appreciate that nod to Leia Organa. Making me feel all nostalgic now. So anyway, I appreciate that. Feels like a shirt and probably a cute fig. So let's go ahead and pull out the shirt and see what we got with that. It's a Rogue One shirt. It smells interesting. I don't know if there's something scented in the box, but it smells almost citrusy, which is funny considering it's all red and orange, but um, you can see the, the fighter there. I like this shirt, actually. Um, I'm not so crazy about the, the red and orange on there, but it's all right. I would have preferred kind of cooler tones, but 
I do like it. I don't recall if Geek Fuel does things in themes or if it's just stuff. So maybe the spoiler booklet will tell us. All right, let me go ahead and see if I can pull out the Q-Fig. And of course, I didn't get Harley Quinn. That's funny because when I emailed Geek Fuel, they were like, oh, um, Harley Quinn's the one that we have the most of, so odds are pretty good that you'll still end up getting it. And I didn't. I ended up getting Green Arrow. So there's the artistic uh, cartoon of it. And let me see if I can tilt this so that you can see the inside without glare. So, I mean, that it's cool that they included that. I just kind of wish that I had managed to remember to do the Harley Quinn before. So, anyway, Green Arrow, cute fig. That's cool. And what else have we got in here? <laughs> So one of the things that they've been doing in Geek Fuel lately is custom pins. Um, so the Geek Fuel robot has been pretty popular. A lot of people who have been getting Geek Fuel have really liked the character. And so the last few boxes they've been doing custom pins with that character as a mashup with other franchises. So, for example, last time they did um, the character in the R2-D2 colors, and then prior to that they did an Indiana Jones variation. So this month's variation is He-Man. And I like the fact that they do it on the packaging, so it actually looks like it's part of the franchise. So it's, it's not just about the pin, it's about the box too. And it looks like... There are some people who would have gotten a Skeletor variation of it, Skelefuel. So that one was limited to 500, and I think that's hilarious. That's pretty awesome. Even says Power Sword included, and if you take a look at the pin, the Power Sword is right there. So that's actually really hilarious. I think that's pretty funny. I'm kind of bummed I missed out on the R2-D2 one now, but that was really funny. All right, there's a box that's pretty heavy. Let me set that aside for now. But one of the things that they do also include in Geek Fuel is a, a Steam code or a coupon for a downloadable game. And this is for Ninja Pizza Girl. Don't know what that's about, but I may check it out and report back on that. And that's it for the box. It still smells like oranges, so maybe that's what's ever in here. I got what looks like a treasure chest. It's kind of heavy, so let's see what's in here. Because something smells like... Aha! That would explain it. Yep, that explains it. It's soap. Rupee soap. Wow, that smells really, really strong. So here is the soap. We have it in blue, red, and green. Gosh, yeah, that's a really strongly scented soap. I don't mind it because I don't have um, any kind of fragrant sensitivities, but I would imagine somebody unboxing this who has allergies to strong scents might be alarmed or uh, recoil from this one. I actually think it's kind of cool and kind of cute and unique, but I could definitely see that being a problem for some people. So, Anyway, that's the last item in the box, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have on here. Alright, so on the spoiler card, of course, we have the shirt, Q-Fig collectible figurine. Four options were Green Arrow, The Flash, Harley Quinn, and Mr. Freeze them down there and I was hoping for Harley Quinn but I got Green Arrow instead and then we had the Pizza Girl downloadable Steam game the enamels pin and the rupee soap so that was all of the items and the pin and the soap and the t-shirt were all exclusives of course, so that makes sense. So I like the box, actually. Even the stuff that I 
wasn't eh on like the q fig the green arrow it's not my my thing but i do appreciate that it was included and i'm sure i will be able to find a good home for it with someone and everything else i actually really really liked i think my favorite thing actually was the bonus um pillowcase because that was an unexpected surprise it was something that i've wanted and it showed up and i am really happy about that i'm excited about that and i do also really appreciate the magazine with carrie fisher on it and there's a, a quote on the back with her on it so I'm looking forward to going through and reading this I do really appreciate that that was included but I actually really liked all of the items so thumbs up to geek fuel on that one and you know hey if you have an extra Harley Quinn send it my way please I'm <laughs> just just throwing that out there anyway um, did you get this box and if so what did you like most about it or what did you not like about it how do you feel about the soap because I have a feeling the soap is probably gonna cause some controversy I like it, but I can see a lot of people having a problem with it. So let me know what you think about that. And as always, if you liked hanging out and seeing what was in the box, please give this video a like. Please feel free to subscribe for more because as soon as I turn off the button to stop recording this one, I'm going to change boxes and we're going to open another one. So if you subscribe, you'll be notified whenever those other ones are uploaded. I hope I will be seeing you again soon. Take care.